React hooks are functions that let you use state without having to write a class. They let you hook into the lifecycle events of React. Hooks are available in React 16.8. One cool thing to note is that hooks does not have any breaking change and it is completely backwards compatible. So your current code will work as is and your new code can be written with using React hooks. But why do we need hooks? Well, currently it's really hard to reuse state between components. You may have to either use a higher order component or use a render prop and pass data down. Also, there are so many lifecycle events that React has, like component did mount, component will unmount, component did update. It's kind of hard to remember which lifecycle event comes when, and we're kind of thinking in terms of React's lifecycle and not how our data flows. With the help of hooks, we can now think of how our data moves from one component to another instead of thinking when React updates its DOM. Let's say we have a functional component input. It's a presentation component, and all it does is allows for an input type so that a user can enter their name. So it's a simple text field with an option to enter your username. Now let's say that the requirement has changed, and what we really want to do is that when we enter our name in the text box, we want to show a greeting. So hello, and the name of the user. But what we also want is that this should only come if there is any text in this input field. We want to add a flag like is visible. You may be thinking, well, it is an input type text, so maybe I can store whatever data my user en enters, and then based on that, I can show is visible, set it to true, and then get my username from that data. But remember, this is a functional component, so we don't have access to state on this traditionally. So there are two options to proceed from there. One is we can change it into a classful component. And second is to add React hooks. We have now converted our input component into a React component by using the extents. And then we are calling the constructor, inheriting the props, and then setting our state using an isVisible variable and a user variable. So what happens is when the user starts typing into this input field, we are going to attach an onChange handler with the function handle change. And all this function does is updates the state sets is visible to true and sets the variable to the value that was entered in the field. Once we have data in our state, we can conditionally render a greeting to the user. What if our component already had a lot of code and we didn't want to go through refactor? How can we add state without converting a component into a classful component? We can use state in a function component by using React hooks. The React hook that we're going to use is use state. To use this, I simply need to use my variable and it comes back with a setter function and I can initialize it to any value I want. Now this is my is visible, which will be used to conditionally render the greeting. I also need a variable to store my name and I can initialize it to anything I want. So I'll start with the blank. Once the user starts typing, I want to update my state. So I'm going to add on change and I will define my handler function right here, which accepts an event. And here, all I want to do is if there is value in the target, update my visible to true. I'm going to use the setter function to set it to a value of true. And then I also want to update my username. So I'm going to do if there is value in event, update my username to the value of the field. So my state has value now, and now all I have to do is just use it. I've got is visible as my flag, and then I will render a paragraph with a greeting of the user. Let's see this in action. What I expect to see on the screen is as I start typing, I should see my name come up. So I'm going to use my name, and I see it on the screen. So that's how we can add state in a functional component without having to convert it into a classical component using React hooks.